Safety has always been one of the core values for Mercedes-Benz. We have been systematically following our road to accident-free driving for many years. Assistance systems make a major contribution to achieve this goal. These systems are there to avoid accidents. To develop and test them, we have to recreate potentially dangerous situations. But of course, we do not want to jeopardize anybody. And that's why we run these maneuvers automatically. In these vehicles, we have no drivers. They run automatically, just like robots. And they're computer controlled via radio and GPS all the time. With this technology, we can do something that no human test driver can possibly do. We can repeat the same test course over and over again, down to the inch. Something that was terribly difficult for us to do in the past was the synchronized driving of several vehicles. We can simply coordinate the schedules of several vehicles and then run these more complicated maneuvers in the exact same way as we do it for a single vehicle. Future driver assistance systems address potentially dangerous traffic situations. Now, we wouldn't want to test such a scenario with our test drivers because the risk of a collision due to human error is just too high. We can run these tests automatically, precisely steering two vehicles within the tenths of a second. If we test the airbags in this vehicle, we have to make sure that they do not accidentally deploy if the vehicle hits a curbstone or if the vehicle goes over a ramp like this, all four wheels are in the air and then the vehicle crashes hard onto the road surface. If we run such a test automatically, we avoid extensive physical stress on our test drivers. The precision and repeatability of our automatic test drives will allow us to do an even better job in developing our vehicle systems. Avoiding more accidents, saving more lives. We at Mercedes-Benz are the first manufacturer to employ an innovative test methodology for driver assistance systems, namely automated driving. This uh, truck is completely anonymous, it does not need any other systems to operate. So you can drive this truck without any assistance, any preconditions on any infrastructure whatsoever. It drives by itself, it's autonomous. It's... it's... Uh, a strange feeling uh, but after a couple of kilometers uh, I'm very very comfortable I feel very safe uh, I will feel very secure and uh, I have to say it's really fun to drive the truck actually it's very simple right you push that button and you lean back and relax. That's all that it's about. Everything else has been done by the system. The system takes over and pilots you to the traffic. It's just great, it's a good feeling. Once everything is safe, Bobby is absolutely away. The first piloted car here at the Hockenheim ring with Audi. This RS7 accelerates now towards the north curve of turn one. You can see that, look, it's being steered by nobody. It's being controlled by the intelligence. A great line through turn one, heading up now towards turn two. Just look at the speed. 
We're approaching 180 kilometers an hour as we go into turn two. Brilliant braking, all assured and controlled. You can hear the uh, 560 horsepower being unleashed through three and four. And now it's the Parabolica. As the tens of thousands of fans here witness history in the making from Audi piloted driving. This is a fantastic shot from our helicopter that is tracking the car. Now, this is going to be crucial. Heavy, heavy braking as the car reaches 220 kilometers an hour and brakes now for the hairpin. This has been absolutely perfect. Not one foot wrong. It has been precise as it heads towards the start-finish line. The absolute optimum lap as the car comes to a stop now. That was truly awesome. I mean, you won't get it parking in P1 any better than that. Absolutely spot-on accurate. Absolutely spot-on precise. And so, so quick as well. At first glance, this Mercedes-Benz finding its way through dense traffic looks like a regular S-Class. This one is everything but regular. The car is driving all by itself, and the fact that you can see that is what makes it most spectacular. Only a look inside the car that drove 100 kilometers or 60 miles autonomously through German towns will reveal the groundbreaking technology. The S500 Intelligent Drive, as the Mercedes engineers call its futuristic car, uses technology deriving from assistance systems already available in Mercedes cars today. We wanted to experiment with the sensors that we have at our disposal right now. We do, we do not want to use very complex sensors because if we would do that, it would take years, decades before these sensors become affordable, before they become reliable before the packaging is right for our vehicle. So, so we took our existing cameras, we took our existing radars, added some magic software to it, and then made our vehicle drive autonomously. Using that technology, Mercedes-Benz concluded the first ever autonomous cross-country and inner-city drive under real conditions. Key was and is that the car reacts to all unexpected traffic situations by itself. We think that safety is achieved by autonomous vehicles and we've proven that over the past years with the systems we introduced. We showed that um, automatic emergency braking is actually reducing accidents because with the systems in the vehicle we, we avoid those, those oversights that are quite natural for human drivers. I mean the human driver cannot be attentive in all situations and is not attentive in all situations.